unconstitutional. It, it should never be. I mean, we have people on remand that are not criminals per se because the matter is still before the court. They will be disenfranchised. And now we're hearing if you're tested positive with COVID, you will be disenfranchised. Especially in a time where the COVID pandemic is only getting worse. So we're just being hit really with this thing and they're gonna open up to elections without properly planning it. We've heard a lot of good suggestions about multiple days so you could space out the people more. We've heard about mail-in ballots that other countries have used. They're not willing to try any of that. They're just like, we need to go win this next term and so come what may, we will hold election on November 11th. The truth is what we've observed is the voter turnout have been low in the countries that have held election. Clearly with the COVID on the rise, there may be one low voter turnout, which the government probably figures favor them and rightly so. So rushing the election through may be a strategy of their, theirs, knowing that there will be voters who will hesitate to go to the polls, knowing that the COVID is on the rise, and as such that should favor the government of the day. No? But we believe that there could have been different regulations put in place on the day. That's why we're saying the decision is unconstitutional. The House have been dissolved. They've taken that decision after the House has been dissolved. And it's right in line with the dictatorial manner in which the Mbarra have been bold with the people power in using it.